All right. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. Good news and bad news. Shakur Stevenson will no longer be fighting Joe Cordina on the undercard of Baturbiev versus Demet versus Bivol and Turkey Alashik quits Twitter as a result. <laughs> Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 135-pound division, where very fortunately for us, a fight that was supposed to take place in, I believe it was October, between Shakur Stevenson and Joe Cordina is now over. As you can see in this tweet from Michael Benson, Shakur Stevenson had to have emergency surgery on his hand. And as a result, he won't be able to have the fight. And that means Shakur Stevenson just wants to go straight into the fight with William Zapata, skipping Turkey Alashik's, the Saudi Arabia trip that Turkey Alashik had planned for him to fight on the undercard of B Bivol Baturbiev. <laughs> so the good news of it is, the good news is that we don't have to see that fight. But there is a bad news to this. And the bad news is that um, Shakur Stevenson is under a two-fight deal with Eddie Hearn so the first fight was supposed to be Joe Cordina. The second fight is supposed to be William Zapata. And then after that, he's supposed to have, he, Shakur, is supposed to fight or be prepared or setting himself for at that point in time to have a fight with Gervonta Davis. Now, what's the problem that this causes? The problem is that Gervonta Davis um, doesn't fight with Eddie Hearn. And in order for Eddie Hearn to get his two fights, that pushes the fight back into probably next year. So if you say, I mean, the year after next, because it could be 2026, that could possibly mean that the fight with Gervonta Davis never takes place. Think about it. If today is September 12th, He's not, Shakur is not going to fight for the rest of the year. Because what is there? October, November, December left in the year. So he had surgery. It's, he's not going to be able to punch anything for a, for a month. Let's say he's not prepared, uh, uh, you know, not cleared to punch anything for a month. So that moves us into um, basically October. Then you've got all of November and December is going to ha he doesn't have time for a training camp to get back into training camp to go into that fight. So, you can pretty much just write home that Shakur Stevenson is not going to be fighting this year. So, that puts two two fights in 2025 for matchroom to take care of the obligations that he has for Eddie Hearn and then after that, what? That's 2026. Now, if you listen to what Kenny Ellis had to say, one of the trainers for Gervonta Davis, he said he believed that if the fight didn't take place in 2025, it was never going to happen. So, um, yeah, this is uh, this is really, in my personal opinion, this is definitely a case of good and bad. Good that for Shakur, and for now, I know I'm not buying that pay-per-view. There's no reason to be charging me $15, $20, or anything, any of that other stuff, <laughs> any amount of money for a fight that is going to be headlined by, uh, who is it? 
I th- who's a headliner on that card now? Fraser Clark? No, no, that's yeah. I think yeah, it's Fraser Clark and um, Fabio Warbley would be the headliner on that card now. I do believe. Uh, who else is on that? Maybe they're gonna put Sky Nicholson as you know as the head on that. I know that Turkey Alashik is very, very, very upset about this. And if you recall, there was a problem that had taken place with Turkey Alashik. If you didn't hear, Turkey Alashik actually unfollowed everybody on Twitter. (laughs) So now we know why he did it. He probably was like, oh man, he definitely wanted to unfollow Shakur. So he didn't, so unfollowing Shakur would have gotten noticed. Oh, you unfollowed Shakur. But no, so no, he unfollowed everybody on, um, on Twitter. I don't know how many people he followed. I can go with, you know, I probably a couple thousand. I doubt very much that he had, you know, like he's got several million followers, I believe, but um, I doubt very much he's following that many people. So the people that he was following are media, boxing media, a- and athletes, along with probably, you know, his personal friends or whatever. But, to, you know, that seems like that could really, really, truly set somebody off. And it appears as if that really, really did set off Turkey Alashik. But I just hope that it doesn't wind up being a situation where it makes it hard, makes it harder to get the Javante Davis fight done. Right. And I and again, I don't think that it's a one fight deal. So we'll see if even if he does go right into the Joe Cordina fight. Now, there's going to be a lot of people that speculate that Shakur Stevenson did this on purpose. It's not impossible to think that he could have, especially if it was a well. A couple things. One is that he had stated that he was not happy about being on an undercard. He didn't sign with them to be put on an undercard. He's a main event fighter. He may not be the biggest draw on planet Earth, but he is a main event fighter. So to put him on the undercard of Dmitry Bivol and Paterbiev, come on, man, that's. That's not a good look for that's not a good look for the man's career. So he says, look, oops, I made him. Oops, I hit my hand wrong. Let's get some surgery that, you know, every athlete got some surgery they could have. I mean, the fact of the matter is I have knee surgery I could have if I wanted to have it. If that's just a way to say, hey, man, let me get up out of this. (laughs) But anyway, um, I can't wait to see what happens, man. I can't wait to see uh, what happens with Turkey Alashik's card. Um. I, I guarantee I'm not watching it. There's only one only one fight I'm going to be watching. That's Baturbiev <laughs> and Bivol on ESPN+. Plus. I'm not watching the rest of that stuff now that Shakur Stevens is not on that card. That is just, man, that was just a death sentence to that card. No doubt about it. But anyway, you know, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment, uh, in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces. Thank <laughs> you.